So today we're talking about whether or not it's a good idea to spay or neuter your bunny. As a representative of House Rabbit Society, I can tell you that we encourage everybody to spay and neuter bunnies for a variety of reasons. The main one for female rabbits is that the uterine cancer rate in female rabbits that aren't spayed is very, very high. Different figures are bandied about. Anywhere from 50 to 80 percent of female rabbits who are not spayed are likely to get uterine cancer as they get older. And the reason you want to spay the rabbit when she's younger is because the older the rabbit is, the higher the surgical risk is. And it's really safe surgery when the rabbit is young. If you're spaying an eight to 10 year old rabbit, it's a different kind of surgery. So you want to get the rabbit when she's maybe six months to a year old, get her spayed and prevent any possibility of uterine cancer. Do you need to neuter males in the same way? Well, testicular cancer is much less likely. But the reason we neuter males is because we encourage as many people as possible to get two rabbits, a male and female, so they'll be companions for each other. And you can't really put two rabbits together unless they're both spayed and neutered because you'll get constant humping by the male of the female who is not interested. And that can make fights break out. And it's just a much easier combination to put rabbits together when they're both spayed and neutered. So it's good from a health standpoint and mm -hmm. good from a longevity standpoint. Is it standpoint. true rabbits can get pregnant while they're pregnant? Can get pregnant while they're pregnant. No, I'm not sure I understand that. They can get pregnant. And then they can get, pre they can get pregnant again, even though they're pregnant? Somebody told oh, me that Oh, I once. see what you're saying. Yeah, rabbits are what's called induced ovulators, which means sure. that they don't have normal heat cycles like mm -hmm. dogs do. People always think of dogs as coming into heat like twice a year, and you can pretty much tell when they're in heat. Rabbits, on the other hand, don't have normal heat cycles, and they can conceive any time. And they can have a litter about every 30 days. So and how many once a month. little bunnies? What is a baby bunny called? They, a baby bunny is called a kit. A and kit. a litter consists of anywhere typically from four to eight kits. Oh, and we hi. once asked somebody, actually I asked a mathematician to do this. He's working on it now as a project to figure out if you started out with one male and one female at the beginning of the year, how many rabbits would you have by the end of two years? He hasn't finished the calculation yet because he's having his students participate, but he said the number is astronomical. Wow. So you definitely want to spay and neuter rabbits because, you know, they have, they have kits and then when those kits are four or five months old, they start breeding. Oh and then their goodness. kids start breeding when they're four or five months old. So by the end of two years, you have a very large number of rabbits. Mm -hmm. And everybody wants their children to have the experience of birth. You know how that goes, mm -hmm. right? Don't do it with rabbits. It's hard to find an excellent permanent home for a rabbit. It's real easy to give away a baby rabbit. Everybody wants a baby rabbit. And then when that rabbit reaches sex sexual maturity a few months later, Finding a really great home is not easy at all and can take you sometimes months to find the right person. So we really encourage spaying and neutering for those reasons.